Hello, Fire Signs. Thank you for joining me. This is Sandra from Wolf Moon Tarot. This reading is going to look at and consider how the energies of the new moon in Gemini on Friday the 22nd or Saturday the 23rd of May, according to where you are um, and the globe. Um, so looking how these energies um, will influence and inform all fire signs, so which includes Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. So just very briefly, um, Gemini is the sign of the mind. So Geminis are great thinkers, deep thinkers. Uh, they think very deeply about issues that hold meaning to them. Um, all forms of communication also identify with those born under this sign. So considering these influences, how, uh, what does this mean now for, for you or you who are born under um, a fire sign? So these are general readings, of course, so they may not resonate with everybody. Um, private readings are available and the information is underneath this video. So I have already meditated and done a pre-shuffle with the card. So let's just do a final shuffle fire signs um, and let's see what the energies of this new moon in Gemini on the 22nd and the 23rd what do these energies mean for you fire signs how are they going to influence or impact uh, upon you okay we'll leave it there We just lay these out so current energies for you um, the challenges outcome and advice from the universe and then I'll just take one from underneath as a final message and then equally with these gateway cards so the cards I've just laid down are the um, angel tarot cards and then these I shall lay on top, as a further clarifier, are the gateway cards. Okay. All right, fire signs. Let's have a look to see what the current energies are for yourselves. So, first of all, we've got the King of Earth. Um, fabulous. Uh, this is, um, if we're looking at a, a person, for example, this could be, um, uh, this could represent a person who is very professional, may or may not have their own business, but very, very practical minded, a very generous individual. Uh, but then looking at the overall energy of the King of Earth, we're looking at, this is a successful time. Um, so, confidently, accept opportunities that are being offered to you because you know there the omens are very positive um for opportunities coming in so it really sort of representing the energies of this new moon um in gemini and then a clarifier is this of this is um awaken, awakening ancient wisdom so there's a deep knowing there's something and an understanding, a deep knowing that is a sort of building up within you. And these are the energies coming through for you um, with the imminent start of this new moon um, in Gemini. So an understanding, a deep knowing, um, things are becoming clearer, are becoming clarified uh, for you. Um, but remember, it's a, it's a very successful time. So these are your current energies. They're, they're really lovely. So what are the challenges? What are the challenges going to be for you um, as these energies come in? Well, we have the two of water here. So this is talking about relationships. Um, uh, in, on, on its own, this is um, a very positive card. This talks about relationships that grow closer. Um, it talks about forgiveness. It talks about positive resolutions, perhaps, of if there's any conflict um, within a relationship, within a family, for example. So it's two of water, the two of cups. Um, it's talking about a relationship. Um, 
but it's in the challenge. So there's something about the energies of the new moon coming in, which is about, remember, it's about communication, how we communicate, perhaps. Re-looking at our communication skills. Are we uh, considering others' points of view? Um, are, are, you know, and is this, uh, this some of the difficulties that are going to be brought in, that are going to be heightened, if you like? Sorry about that. Let me just turn that down. So the um, so these the new moon and moon moon in Gemini energies for you fire signs uh, the, the challenge that could be that you know communication could be the challenge so it's about taking a step back before we respond rather than reacting perhaps with irritation or um, annoyance. Just just an example, it, it'd be different for everybody. So it's, it's an opportunity to look at how we express ourselves in general, really. So communication, I think, um, within, within a relationship um, could be a little bit um, strained or difficult because of the energies that are coming in. But sometimes we need these nudges to, to stand back and just consider um, how are we listening? You know, how do we communicate? So something, the challenges within relationships for you, fire signs. Um, and then the other um, card come out in the challenge position is about emerging into grace. And this is when we um, we are re resting and um, tuning into um, what is what we need, if you like. So um, going into that peaceful state, um, being able to be calm, to have patience, have temperance, um, opening. I mean, we've got lots of water in this card and we've got the lady asleep. So she's in sort of a dream state, if you like. Um, tapping into her emotions, lots of emotion, water represents emotion. So this is, uh, you know, this is about um, relaxing into the energies that are coming through. Um, try to um, see the positives in, in the energies coming through for you, because remember, this is in the challenge position. So there's something about opening up your soul, opening up your heart um, within um, relationships. Um, and, um, and I think because of the emotion, lots of emotion involved, um, I think it's just just to be just a bit of a nudge to be mindful of stepping back and just considering what the position of others around you and, and their feelings and emotions as well. Um, so open yourself up to to grace, emotions and feelings of grace. So uh, what are the current outcomes? What will be the outcomes? I beg your pardon. So the outcome um, to this reading um, about the new moon in Gemini is we've got the nine of Earth. So a, a really... Um, a very positive card. Uh, this is I call this my independent woman card, but obviously it doesn't have to be gender specific. Um, but this is about um, almost in being in a position where you can enjoy life's luxuries, spending quite a time alone, being quite happy on your own, quite independent, um, if self employed though. So this is about successful self employment. So either current successful self-employment or because this is the new moon energy, is this something about new opportunities coming in to consider now the new opportunities that, that are coming in around you? So this is very much um, about um, work, earnings, income, um, abundance, but being self-sufficient. And remembering your energy, fire signs, was the King of Earth energy. If you remember, and this was about success, um, practical opportunities and opportunities to come in and being offered. And so the outcome is the Nine of Earth. So, yes, that's just a further clarifier, a time of success um, and enjoying um, the opportunities that are coming in um, and perhaps, you know, increased um, success within if you're in a current employment suc in, increase success sorry i can't get my words out um 
And then the um, clarifier for this out in this outcome is being in the flow. So this is going with the flow of whatever's coming in with these new energies. We've got the new moon up there, look. And <clears throat> coming from the new moon, from the universal energies, um, it's saying you've got the woman in the boat going forward, um, not too worried about where she's going because the universe is taking her in the direction she needs to go. So that's what these lovely energies are coming up, are bringing in for you, fire signs. Really lovely. And then what's the message from spirit? We've got another earth card. So that's three earth cards you've had quite, quite significantly. So the five of earth, which is the five of pentacles in ordinary tarot, this is when we're a little bit worried about money, we're a bit fearful about things to do with money and income, what we have. So this is saying, you know, accept help from others. Um, you know, and if, for example, you know, you may be worrying about your employment, um, you may be worrying about your self-employment. You may feel your self-employment is a bit uncertain at this time. But this this card is saying this is about our fear. This is what's in our mind to do with um, what we have, what, what we're earning, our income, our employment. So it's not actual because remember the... Sorry. Um, because remember... In the outcome position, um, we had the nine of earth, all right, which was very successful self-employment and going with the flow. So, you know, um, spirit is saying, you know, you don't have to worry, but you, it acknowledges that you have got worry, uh, particularly around this time with the lockdowns globally, um, COVID-19. Employment, it's impacted on a lot of people's employment, hasn't it? Um, but the outcome was saying, you know, you, you don't have to worry. And this card is also saying it's, it's, it's in your mind. It's the fear, you know, and fear can freeze us, can't it? It can lock us down. Um, so, you know, try to come out of that energy if you can. Um, and it's saying then also the clarifier is simplifying your life. So this is just about enjoying the simple pleasures in your life. Um, get rid of that which no longer serves you. This can also be about in the mind as well. Uh, remove those blocks, those fearful energies that are in your mind um, and just enjoy what's around you at this time. Get as much enjoyment out of the current situation as you can uh, because it's not going to last forever. Um, but it is a time just to get rid of, sort out, declutter. Um, all right. So uh, this won't resonate with everybody, uh, fire signs, but it certainly will with, with quite a few of you. And then the, the other message from um, from the universe, from energies, is the Ten of Air, the Ten of Swords. And this is saying... Um, you know, if if you this is the the ending is coming to a very difficult situation. So this new moon energy is going to be start to bring in the end of a difficult situation for you. So this is saying embrace the changes. Do expect things to get better now. Um, it's recovering from something that's been very difficult as well. So it's the ending. The ending of a difficult situation is coming in and it's time to embrace the change. Um, and then taking action. So this is about you'll be able to then, as this difficult situation comes to an end um, at fire signs, you're going to charge forward take action, go forward, um, and embrace everything that life has to offer enthusiastically. Lovely, lovely energies. Lots to think about there, fire signs. Um, if you've enjoyed this reading, if you could please like and press the subscribe button below the video, that will help this channel to evolve. It will also, You will also get notifications of any new um, readings coming out um, and it is free to subscribe so um, but anyway many thanks for joining me I hope you've enjoyed this reading um, to do with the energies of the new moon in Gemini on the 22nd 23rd of May take care going forward fire signs do join me again bye bye